Well, you know, Devante, this system continues to roll over the Bahamas. We are showing that we've got this shower thunderstorm action rolling over Andros Island. We continue to look at this moving to the northwest for now. It is likely going to make a Florida landfall as we get you into late evening, and then it'll track back into the Atlantic at some point going into late Sunday night and Monday and head for the Carolina. So let's show you the track. Right now we've got the system approaching a West Palm Beach area, anywhere from there to Fort Pierce for a possible, or Fort Pierce, excuse me, through a possible landfall. And that will continue as we go into your early Sunday morning through the afternoon hours. And up along the coast eventually takes this northeasterly turn. And as it takes a northeasterly turn, we expect it to be scooped up by a cold front and an upper low, a trough that develops that's going to help to steer that system into the north northeast after of course making landfall potentially somewhere along this florida or the florida coastline then the south carolina or north carolina coastline so it's got a couple more landfalls left to go before we see the system weaken even more. Now, we expect it to weaken potentially in getting back into the Atlantic without re-strengthening because it's going to be blown apart a little bit, we believe. It's already had to deal with some of that wind shear today, and that's one of the reasons that it has dropped down to a tropical storm status. But it's a pretty good, strong, vertically stacked storm, and so that's helped to keep it going up to this point. We're expecting it to become, again, a Category 1 hurricane before landfall sometime overnight into your early Sunday for folks in Florida. They're under hurricane warnings. You can see it all up and down the coast from Allistown uh, over areas of the Bahamas. We're expecting them to be impacted next. We also have wave heights anywhere from 10 to 12 feet. And we're looking at the storm status. Of course, once it gets over 74 miles an hour, it'll be back to a hurricane status. So right now, tropical storm, It'll go back to Cat 1, then down to a tropical storm and impacting potentially folks in the triad, which is some showers, some thunderstorms, occasional rain bands that could lead to some flash flooding in spots, especially east of I-95. But 20 to 30 mile an hour winds are going to be occasional over the next few days, and we'll be watching for that trend. Most of that wind, though, along the coast and, of course, in the sand hills. For us, the rainfall totals, we'll be watching the track and any changes to it to increase our possibilities. But we're looking at anywhere from one to two inches as we get you into early Wednesday morning. Now, the storm should be out of here late Tuesday night into our Wednesday, and then we'll be dealing with more thunderstorms from other systems as we go ahead into your weekend.